All right, guys, Andrew here. We're gonna walk through how to set up Facebook's new uh, custom audience pixel and the purchase event through Gumroad. So if you use Gumroad, this will obviously be um, interesting. If you use a different e-commerce platform, you'll kind of have to uh, take what we go through in this video and adjust it based on the uh, variables that your e-commerce platform makes available on your confirmation pages or whatnot. But let's just get right into how to set this up. So in Gumroad, I've gone to my settings. So which you can come to settings and advanced. And they've recently upgraded this whole capability uh, to add third party analytics at either the, the product level or uh, apply something to that will fire on all products after the purchase event. So this is a really awesome capability. It's the most simple implementation I've seen out there. Um, but let's go ahead and we're going to do the Facebook pixel. Now we're going to set up our purchase event, but to do that, we need to load our base pixel first. So I'm going to come over to my business manager and my ad, uh, my custom audience or my pixel screen here in the Facebook ad backend. I'm going to click tools. So I'm inside of tools, pixels here. I just to let you know where I am. And then down here, I'm going to click actions, view pixel code. And I'm going to click in here to highlight all copy done. I'm going to come over to Gumroad. I'm going to set this up for now for just one product, which is um, the product that I'm actually creating this video for. And I'm going to do Facebook pixel. So I'll paste this in. So we have our base pixel loaded, but we also want to fire our purchase event. So I've already kind of created this, uh, this purchase event here in sublime text, but all it is is another script, um, script element with a call to this FBQ function. And we're going to do track purchase with a capital P and then I'm going to pass in parameters. Um, you know, the mandatory parameters for this event are the currency and the value. Luckily, Gumroad provides those dynamically. So I'm going to do currency and then the colon and then my dollar sign currency with, which is a uh, variable provided by Gumroad. So if you use a different e-commerce platform, you're going to have to adjust this or you're going to have to figure out a way to get these values in. Um, I'm going to do my currency here and then I'm going to do my value and I'm going to put my content name. So I'm going to pass in the name of the product that the purchase, uh, the purchase is occurring on. And then you'll notice I'm not using any spaces here. Uh, for some reason, the, the Facebook custom audience backend has trouble with spaces if you're trying to split out audiences by the things that they purchased. So I just remove all the spaces and it's generally just good practice to do that anyways. And then content category, I've just categorized my products by what kind of result the, uh, the user might be looking for. So I've got these two parameters specified. Uh, I left out my semicolon, so I'll go ahead and add that. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this script tag and paste that below. And remove these spaces. Um, it doesn't really matter, but just clean things up. Okay, so one little thing that we have to adjust here is this currency is gonna be passed in as a string. So we have to be sure to add quotes around this currency variable. Otherwise, it'll try to grab USD as a, a variable name. And, uh, you know, when, when you pass in the currency, if it comes in as USD for US dollar, uh, it'll think it's a variable name um, if you don't add these quotes. So that's kind of a, a gotcha that could cause this not to work. So we're going to add those strings around there or the uh, excuse me, the double quotes around currency. And then we're going to come down and do update account details. And next, I'm going to go to my, my product in Gumroad. I'm going to click preview and I'm going to come over to my preview window. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click inspect element. And I'm going to go to my network tab. And what this will enable me to see is any data being sent out when the purchase event occurs. So I'm going to put in Facebook here in the filter. If you don't see the search or this filter bar, click the little funnel icon here. And then I'm going to check preserve log. I'm going to come back to my page and I'm going to say I'm going to pay 90 bucks for this. I want this and I'm going to click 
give and then I come over to my network panel and I'm looking for my purchase event here so you can see all these Facebook tag fires going off and I go over and I have um, my purchase event with a 200 OK code. You see there, there's actually two purchases, but this one is a redirect, so that's OK. Uh, but we have this purchase event. And if I scroll down, I'll see that my event is purchase. My currency is USD. The value is 90. Everything worked out well. All these errors are OK. As long as you have a 200 OK on your Facebook event fire, you're good to go. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you can implement the uh, Facebook's new custom audience pixel and the purchase event for your Gumroad purchases.